Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today is March 15th, and I'm gonna uh, read this. I, I made the title exactly what it is on purpose, so. Work until your rivals become your idols, Drake. I don't think I wanna do this, do I? Do I want to spend this precious life working to make others idolize me? I live in a world that reveres famous people, the people who seem to have it all. What if this is part of what haunts my mind and actually has me feeling bad about myself? I'm not like them. I don't have what they have. I'm not as successful as them. Tapping can quell the voice of the bully in me that tells me I'm somehow less than because I'm measuring myself against some random social standard that tells us all who we should and should be and what we should have. I can begin to break free from this madness. This thinking only serves to have me feeling bad about myself. And I think I've had enough of that for today. Thought for today. What if today I can practice awakening to my not having to believe what the world or anyone else feeds me about who I am and what I should be doing with my life. Hey, Michelle. So yeah, I remember when I saw that quote, work until your rivals become your idols. I was like, oh yeah, that's part of that culture that wants us in competition with each other. Um, so you can sort of see the theme at times in this book is I use quotes that are meant to be inspiring people, but I often find that they're, they're just misinformed that, um, it, they set up people for competition and uh, rather than cooperation and they put this hierarchy in, in place that ends up having us just feel worse about ourselves and do we really need more of that? So let's do some tapping. <laughs> Karate chop. Even though I live in a world that really loves competition that loves fears competing. What if I could see this differently? Even though I live in a culture that loves the superstars, what if I could see that differently too? Even though I live in a world and a culture that promotes competition, not cooperation. I really want to see this differently now. Go to the eyebrows. I don't want to work hard so that my rivals become my idols. I think I've had enough of that. And I'm really tired of all this pushing energy. Pushing myself so hard. Comparing myself to others. Because when I compare, I often lose. And I lose big. And I seem to lose a part of me every time I compare myself. And I think I've suffered over comparing enough. So what if I could see this all differently? What if it starts with catching myself in the act of comparing myself? That's a product of this culture. That's the ego pushing its agenda. They have it so much better than you. You don't have that. 
and that all stimulates and activates the bully in my brain. And all that comparing comes from that place. And I'd really love to unhook from all this comparing. Because it really hurts my own heart when I compare. It's like I break my own heart every time I compare myself. And I'd really like to live more in a spirit of cooperation. Understanding that we all have so much different life paths. and start to understand I have my own unique journey and I don't want it to be about comparing myself to others and breaking my own heart so what if today I could even find one thing that I really appreciate about myself. One thing that's unique to me. That I really like about myself. And just start there. It can be that I like that I bake great cookies. But starting to shift the camera lens away from that from which I don't want towards what I do want to feel better about myself. And comparing never makes me feel better about myself. Not usually. And not for long if it does. So what if I can set the intention today and ask for guidance and direction on ways to soothe my own heart, to free myself from these prisons of longing so that I can set myself free and open up to greater possibilities and start to recognize guidance and direction that comes to me through impulses that uplifts me and supports me to be more truly me and take a breath. So, yeah, um, I'm going to read this reading one more time just because I think it's something we can all use again. So you get it in bookends, the beginning and the end. Um, work until your rivals become idols. Drake. I don't think I want to do this, do I? Do I want to spend this precious life working to make others idolize me? I live in a world that reveres famous people, the people who seem to have it all. What if this is part of what haunts my mind and actually has me feeling bad about myself? I'm not like them. I don't have what they have. I'm not as successful as them. Tapping can quell the voice of the bully in me that tells me I'm somehow less than because I'm measuring myself against some random social standard that tells all of us who we should be 
and what we should have. I can begin to break free can't, from the from this madness. I think. Sorry, I just saw something I need to take care of. I think this thinking only serves to have me feel bad about myself. And I've had enough of that for today. Thought for today. What if today I can practice awakening to my not having to believe what the world or anyone else feeds me about who I am and what I should be doing with my life? I mean, I can't speak to this enough. I mean, it takes... It takes time and uh, it just takes patience with ourselves to start and, and clear sight to start to wake up from the nightmare of the programming that so many of us have about, yeah, who, or should, who we should be in this constant chronic comparison that we've learned to, use, uh, to do. I, I think I've told this story before, but I used to compare myself to movie stars. I've never wanted to be a movie star in my freaking life. And I was like, and I remember, yeah, my one time my husband's like, wow, Marty, when you compare yourself, you lose and you lose big. And it's true. I mean, we all do it. We compare ourselves and in the comparison, even if you're like one up somebody, that doesn't really feel good either. And the culture we live in really promotes that. You know, it's all about competition and who's going to be on top and survival of the fittest and all that stuff. And and to start to unhook from that and start to rekindle that inner connection to that part of us that knows that we are so much more, so much more than what the culture has us believe that we are. So Michelle, great, you're so welcome, so welcome. And that's who I can tell is here and that's it for today. And there was tapping before this, if you just hopped on, I read it, then tapped and I read it again. So you got the bookends today in stereo. So have a great rest of your day or evening or morning, wherever you are on this fine planet that we all call home together.